Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Profit A Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Gancharfris, thanks so much for tuning in. A great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, we get a recap of the fourth annual barbecue block party that took place last Saturday. A little bit later, Asha and Victoria join us for a recap of party number six when summer sounds took over the Hilton Tree Bar. I will close out the show tonight with music from Jordan Tingson when he performed on Live Local Fridays on Guam's Favor I-94. But first things first, it was back in August 2012 when I I interviewed Jared Pistonis and his new clothing line, The Native. Well, this Saturday, he celebrates five years with a big celebration. Here's more. Can't Stop, Won't Stop has been the embodiment of local brand, The Native. Jared Pistonis, owner and creator, has been working non-stop since we first featured him on In The Mix back in August of 2012. His mission? To create unique and fully custom garments that suit inspired individuals, dreamers, and achievers across the globe. I want the world to look at Guam like, wow, these guys are awesome. You know, I, I, my, I, I believe the future of Guam is people flying in to see what we have to offer versus us flying out to pursue opportunity. Because we have so much opportunity on Guam. It's, I believe Guam is like a pioneer's paradise. It's a land of opportunity. We have so much um, things that still need development and it's, I believe it's up to the people who are willing to take that risk and put themselves out there, which will determine how Guam looks um, in the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Um, yeah, art's the future of Guam. The 22-year-old created the native to represent the people. Throughout the years, um, the brand has actually become more, more than a brand. Um, I actually work with a lot of artists now. I want the brand to serve as an outlet for local artists of different mediums to be seen, heard, and appreciated. According to Pastonis, the native has become more than a brand and more of a lifestyle anyone with a vision and a plan could connect with. Fashion meets mindset. So outwards, it's like all my, my garments now, I mean, I've always really tried to get custom cut garments as much as possible, the highest quality. So when you wear the garment, you, you look good and you feel great, right? Just like how anybody feels when you throw on your favorite t-shirt or your favorite dress or whatever. Um, but like inwards, when you wear something that says can't stop, won't stop, um, it, it reflects off you as an individual. And that's how, that's how I want to connect people um, around the world because it's like whether, whether we speak English or Japanese or Chinese, um, you know, fashion, fashion has always been that connecting point. He's held an array of innovative events to bring a unique experience, such as hosting a live photo shoot so attendees can see what goes on behind the scenes, to a collection release at a tattoo studio. The brand is still developing, and you know, since the day I started the brand, I always knew that it wasn't going to be easy because it's not, it's not your typical Guam brand. Mm -hmm. um, I got a lot of love for everybody who's doing whatever they want to do, but I feel that like my, my label, um, it's just, it's just different because it doesn't look like a Guam brand. Um, I want it to have that worldwide appeal where anybody around the world can connect with it, right? In 2015, the young entrepreneur made it a point to get more involved in the growing creative community on island. I want to make a commitment to the, cre the creative community of Guam that as much as possible, I want to help serve as an outlet for these people to get their voice out, get their art out, um, get people to just to see it and to hear it, you know. To celebrate and commemorate five incredible years, a big party is taking place at the Globe. The night will have live art from some of Guam's talented young artists like Dean Bloss, Sayaka Collard, brothers Andrew and Adriel Gulak, Julian Pete, and Cameron Orlin. And will feature the musical stylings of Gabby Painter featuring Adam Borja, Angelo Molinas, DJ So Real, Jed Snoozix, Trips and Jay Pogi. It's a unique kind of support because we all feel more connected because we're all like the same age group and we're all like connected through social media and things like that. So it's, it's awesome to see everybody uh, just grow together and shine off one another. Along with a sneak peek of the native's latest collection, there will be a $500 cash drop and plenty of giveaways. At the end of the day, this is culture that we're trying to build here. Um, I'm not the only one doing it. There are so many other people on Guam. Shout out everybody else out there who's trying to bring the, the artists together and get the, the, get the art out, the music out, things like that. But at the end of the day, again, it is culture that has existed on Guam for so long, but needs that unity still. I want to get the creative community out and I want to just get the community as a whole to come and support this. For more on The Native, make sure to like their page on Facebook, 
Follow on Instagram under The Native Worldwide and make sure to check out their webpage at thenative.bigcartel.com. And of course, you can always score some gear at Clans Guam. I love uh, Clans Guam because to me, they represent the rebirth of local um, street urban culture in Guam in Aganya, which is more so like a corporate place, right? Um, it's a lot of just businesses and things like that. So Clans Guam there brings a new presence and we f I feel young in Aganya now, you know? And don't forget, the native five-year anniversary party takes place this Saturday, July 9th at The Globe. If you have any ounce of love for Guam just in general, because again, I believe this is the future of Guam, this is something that you must attend and experience. We just gotta get the community to come out in full support of this. Um, it's, see, like, I'm talking about all these people right now, and it, at this point, it's not even about me anymore. It's not even about my five year anniversary, because I want it to be more than an event because I've always, I just want to be more than a brand now too. We'll always focus on the clothing, but at the same time, I want to be more, uh, I want to give more to the community, more, more value to the lives of other people. Don't go anywhere because when we return, we get a recap of the barbecue block party you're watching in the mix.